back. Uh, well, every summer I came back to uh, up until a point. But the, fir- the first couple of summers, I really started figuring things out as like a professional musician in Baltimore and like hooking up with some big bands and some of the established musicians there that had n- never left. Or they did and then wow. they came back, you know, and just remembering or not even remembering, learning about the rich history of musicians in Baltimore, mm-hmm. you know, that are o- often overlooked, you right. know, right. like. Jerry Bartz from Baltimore, you really? know, yeah, 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 yeah. So that. a lot of cats, you know, um, just you know, we have a rich history, especially on Pennsylvania Avenue at the Royal, you know. Right. So like there, there it was there, and then things happen. It goes through waves, of course. Cats always want to talk about like uh, or ask me how you know the scene in Baltimore is. I'm like, well, I go back and forth. Or I used to go back and forth between Baltimore and DC, but you know. Each one of those places have waves, you know, where there's like it's really hot, it's really high at one point, then it's like, you know, it's a little lower. It's, it's unfortunate. What it just speaks to, you know, where we are in the country where the music scenes can't really thrive, the smaller ones can't thrive consistently. Mm-hmm.